So Keith Furman is calling everybody out. He wants all the smoke. <laughs> it's funny how things change when all of a sudden you've got nothing to lose. Because now he's got no unbeaten record. He's got no world titles. He's got everything to gain at this point. So he's called out Kel Brook. He's called out Errol Spence. And he's called out Terence Crawford. Crawford has responded by telling Keith Furman to shut up. <laughs> he doesn't believe that Furman really wants that smoke. He thinks that Furman's just clout chasing. That's the word people use today. What a phrase. Now, we know that Errol Spence and Terence Crawford are really looking to, you know, have bigger fights. Uh, Errol Spence may be the Manny Pacquiao fight, Danny Garcia, people like that. And, well, can I say Danny Garcia is a bigger fight than Keith Furman? Maybe not. But certainly the Manny Pacquiao fight is a bigger fight. So that's what Errol Spence is looking at. And Terence Crawford, of course, is looking at the Errol Spence fight. So their focus is not really on Keith Thurman. Therefore, the most, potentially the most realistic fight for Keith Thurman might be Kell Brook. And Thurman says he's willing to fight Kell Brook in the UK because they're both former welterweight champions. They've both lost their unbeaten records. And so a crossroads fight would make a lot of sense. Now, obviously, given the choice, either one of them would prefer to fight for a world title. So they prefer to step in there against the world champion, no doubt about it. Uh, Kel Brook has been talking about the Terence Crawford fight in particular. And the Crawford team, including Bob Arum, they have expressed some interest over the past year or so in that fight. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to be moving forward. So we'll see what happens there. If Kel Brook and Keith Thurman can't get a world title fight in their next one or two fights, then I think the crossroads fight is the way to go. I think it's a great matchup. I think that both guys have got a lot to prove. Uh, what weight division would it be at? That's one question because uh, Kell Brook's last fight was at 154. We know he's a very big guy at the weight. Perhaps they would do it at 154 or a catch weight because Keith Thurman is also pretty big at the weight. So yeah, going to be interesting to see if that fight can get made. Who would you guys pick in that? I'm going to assume that it will be almost 50-50. Uh, Kel Brook might be a slight favorite in the UK just because of the fact that he's looked more like himself more recently. Even though his last fight wasn't against the world level operator, wasn't against anyone close to the level of a Manny Pacquiao, he still looked fairly sharp, Kel Brook. Whereas Keith Thurman, when's the last time he looked sharp? When's the last time he got rid of an opponent and looked devastating? It's been a very, very long time. Um, I'm not saying that I would make Kell Brook favorite. I'm just saying that I, that's what I think the perception might be in the UK, that people just slightly lean towards Kell Brook to win. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as far as Keith Thurman against anybody else out there, the Errol Spences and the Terence Crawfords, do you see him even being competitive at this stage? Because it's not just the fact he's been so inactive over the past few years, but it's also these injuries, a lot loss of focus, etc. Whereas certainly Terence Crawford has been bang on it. Errol Spence, yeah, he's had a loss of focus and he's been drifting away from boxing outside of the ring and also had that terrible car crash. We don't know what he's going to be like when he comes back. That might be the way for Keith Thurman to go because there's some uncertainty about Errol Spence. You know, if he's trying to target a world champion, that's probably the way to go. So how he would fare there, I don't know. It all depends on what Spence has after his accident. As far as Terence Crawford, obviously Keith Thurman's going to go for it. But is it wise, you know, given a choice, not just because they're both PBC fighters, but also because you have to choose your battles carefully. <laughs> you know, uh, given a choice, I think Keith Thurman should go for Pacquiao or Spence. But if he was to go for Crawford, hey, I'm not going to complain. I think that's a, a very good fight. And I'm sure Terence Crawford would love to have Keith Thurman's scalp on his resume. I'm sure Terence Crawford would like to try and stop Keith Thurman and go one better than Manny Pacquiao. That would obviously be the biggest name that Terence Crawford has on his record at 147. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also, I want to know the general feeling about Keith Thurman at this stage. Yes, we know he was a world champion and you know he's been a very good fighter in the past. But are you guys really interested in his career at this point? Do you really care about Keith Thurman? Or do you see him as kind of irrelevant now? Do you feel like we've seen the best that we're going to see of him and therefore you're not really interested in seeing him in there against anybody in the near future? And I'm talking about the likes of Spence and Crawford, maybe even a Pacquiao rematch. Have you guys kind of gone off Keith Thurman? If you're really on him in the first place, pause. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think in the comments about everything I've discussed in this video. The Crossroads fight and either Kell Brook or Keith Thurman fighting world champions. Let me know, people, what's happening. I'm out.